I love talking to pre-show elevator people. And it was a little boy who was dressed up in a suit with his mom and dad. And I said, where are you going? And he said, we're going to the alley to see a show. I said, oh, you're going to see Christmas Carol. I said, how many times have you been? He said, this is our first time. I said, well, I hope you like it. And I got off the elevator. I was headed toward the stage door. And as they were going across over to the box office, I said, see you next year. <laughs> and I hope we do. Because one of the fun things for me is seeing how the audience has changed. They say, look at that. Look at that. You think it can't happen. And you look out there and you see people. And it's like all colors, beautiful people out there in our house. I said, yeah, we can pass this along. We can give this as a gift to everybody. Oh my goodness, you come into the theater, that beautiful, you know, sweeping architecture. You go up that, into that red, those red carpets, right? All the box office people are there waiting for you, the glass, and it's just very special. And you see the trees, sort of a hug for people who come to see it. Because now we have a Christmas carol with actual Christmas carols. Now with real Christmas carols. And one thing I hope is that, I hope they'll sing along. I hope the audience will sing along with us as we're doing them on stage. The other thing is that I get to work with my daughter, and she had a chance to do many things this year, but she really wanted to join Daddy for Christmas Carol. Go figure. I'll take it. It's like a morality play. It's almost a religious play, really, in which the ghosts uh, take you and help you to look into, or Scrooge, help Scrooge, to look into his soul and to reassess himself as though it was an anniversary or something. And I think the audience takes that journey with him.